previously on The Privateer. Oh, Enduro up here. Oh my god. Today, Adam is getting some race coaching from Spank and EWS top athlete, Joan Borelli. With Adam's challenge of getting his best ever result at the EWS in Whistler Looming, who better to give him some racing advice? The pair have decided to ride Treasure Trail in Squamish, a double black technical trail with a number of awkward features. Something I've noticed I've been doing a bit this season is not pacing my race runs particularly well and going as hard as I can in the first 20 seconds of a race check and then not realizing uh, I need to pace myself for the remaining 10 minutes mm. of the stage. So Adam, let's say that the section starts basically where you are and we have to make the right corner at the bottom over there. Like most of the people, and even even us, even me sometimes, we, uh, we really want to rush down stuff like that. And we basically forget about the corner. And you exit the corner at like 0k an hour. And what you want is some exit speed. So let's see, uh, let's see what he does. Holy shit! I told you! <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna start the race like that? That's how we're gonna start out the gate. I would warm up a little bit, you know, before kind of... Ah, just, to, uh, just to try the, the traction, because it's super dry and there's dust on the, on the rocks and stuff. And you could see here that he came super hot, wow, and he was completely loose and he almost ate shit at the bottom over there. Even Jackson got scared. Can have set me up better. Oh, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fucking hell. laughs> well, you just told me what I was not meant to do. <laughs> don't, don't rush. Don't, rush. <laughs> don't come to a stop in the turn. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that when you're when you're racing, your brain kind of it yeah. doesn't work properly anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you become dumb. <laughs> you don't think you're so. like, okay, fuck, it's race day, and then you uh, you forget about everything. <laughs> if you have a 10 minute long run, yeah. like you need to pace yourself. Mm -hmm. Like nobody is strong enough to uh, do a full no. run 10 minutes just full gas. Otherwise, you're gonna lock yourself, and then you poop. So straight up. People know they're not strong enough. Like they do training and they yeah. do interval training, and you can see uh, like yeah. So you can't do it, even if it's race day and uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. You don't become a superior uh, on Sunday. Easy, straight, nice. There you go. And that was perfect. The stuff really yeah. that you're gonna gain here is nothing. It's always on the easy stuff. Yeah. That you're basically gonna make the time. That's where you'd win, right? Yeah. Is if you could go faster on. On this kind of stuff. Yeah. You always see Sam and he's kind of super composed, relaxed. He never goes super fast, but at the end. Yeah. He kicks our ass. So we're done here, we go down. So we are track walking, we are midway, halfway through the stage. I come here, I take a photo, then I come here, then I take another photo, and I'm gonna go in my notes. Nice. And I'm gonna say, okay, right corner beside the skinny, take the inside, jump over the route, stay on the right, down there, da 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 da, photo, photo. So all the time you, you read your notes and you have all the photos in your thing, check, 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 you check and you have the visual of the thing. Right, and then you can visualize. And you can visualize everything. Yourself going through. And you are at the end of your track walk and then you read your notes. Yeah. You watch the, you watch the photos and then you can basically remember 80% uh, of the stage. Wow. Um, how do you deal with the anxiety of race, racing? Do you um, get stressed well, out? Well, I kind of think like if we, uh, if we go back to all the process like track walking, taking pictures, uh, kind of memorizing everything, mm -hmm. uh, doing your job like sleeping, sleeping super early in the evening, mm -hmm. don't, go, don't go late out, uh, eat well, rest, 
do your practice super chill, watch your GoPros and everything, you can basically come race day to the start gate and you can be like, wow, I actually, I did my best. So basically your stress can uh, just go away and then you just focus on the moment riding and that's it. That's another thing, if you practice with another guy, you can actually talk to each other. And then you, uh, and you're like, okay, don't try that. It doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> Sketchy. Yeah. Nice. This guy is loose. <laughs> Fucking hell, Adam. Pace yourself. He touched. He clipped his pedal here. Then he uh, unclipped. Then he dropped down probably with one foot uh, unclipped. Like you can't, you can't ride like that for 10 minutes, it doesn't work. Way smoother. <laughs> Pierre, you got the idea? Yeah. And if you have someone to practice with for the race, yeah. do it. Yeah. Because you can compare. See what lines they're yeah. doing. Two times I did it, I got just going in too hot. Mm -hmm. And both times unclipped and then was losing speed in that middle bit. Yeah, and that that's and then, you can you can do it once. Yeah. But if you ride like that all the time, yeah. all the way down, yeah. You're gonna do one stage like that. Or yeah. maybe not even. Yeah. And then uh, you're done. I've got a much better bike this year. I've been stretching. <laughs> you feel a bit stretchy. <laughs> um, but it's, it's still hard to, to get it all right on the day. You were 79 last year? Yeah, 79. Okay, yeah, to be to be realistic, I think the top 50 would be good. Yeah, top 50. But I think if you, uh, like seriously, if you uh, do everything right the, the week before mm -hmm. and don't put too much pressure on yourself, yeah, like it's uh, totally uh, achievable. What do you think? Give it a go, it looked fast. That worked, eh? I, I wanted to come on here. Oh yeah? And then go down that side. The you, thing is you that rolled, you're gonna you're you gonna spend you're gonna spend a long time on the log. Time on the log. And it's kinda sketchy. Yeah. If you come that way, look. You come here, you bunny up. Yeah. And then you roll down the thing. Okay. This is kinda this is solid. Mm. So you can use that to look. Bunny up! Okay, do it again. And roll. Work when I'm practicing, I kind of force myself to do them because I'm going to try sketchy moves and it's going to bring me, you know, like kind of, holy fuck, I tried that. Even if it's uh, completely out of the, the good line, but it makes you, uh, you know, it pumps up your ego. <laughs> like if it was cool, but doesn't work who cares but like that's cool it's a good move and then you basically carry way more speed at the at the exit and that's what you want let's try again nice inside Yee-hoo! fuck yeah that was good a little quicker isn't it yeah it was sick and it gets you fired up and do you see what jesse does before race he always put video videos like POV of himself riding super fast section. He put he put them on Instagram so people just comment, holy fuck JC, you so fucking fast! And then up the ego goes, goes <laughs> and it's good, he needs it, and then he works for him. Everybody has his own uh, little technique. How do you overcome disappointment? Like if you get a bad result? I think I'm super disappointed. So for example, I do a BC and Euro. Yeah. I do BC Enduro. Yeah. I come the Friday afternoon. Yeah. I do my practice. You practice. I don't really look at everything. I just do yeah. my runs and stuff. You don't have much time. I race and then uh, I'm fucking seven. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> and that's actually like, there is a few BC, uh, BC Enduros since last year that I'm like just yeah. driving back home. And I'm like, <laughs> 
fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. go and I do an EWS and I'm like top 10. Yeah. So it's the same result, but like with way higher. Yeah. Like, but then that's the thing is I feel like um, the preparation for an EWS is it's structured. Yeah. Everyone's it's, in the same boat. Exactly. The races, the venues are normally mm -hmm. different, unique, yeah. but the preparation is equal for everyone. For everyone. Whereas some of these regionals, you and they are here for a week, smash for weeks or? before, and they know everything, every yeah, corner. I, I don't know what it is, or, yeah. or whether they've been racing the same track exactly. since they were 15. Yeah, yeah. Or, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's funny sometimes. I think that if you do like everything before the race, yeah, whatever happens during the race, yeah, if you do your best, yeah, you can't you can't be disappointed with that, no. right? Even if you have a mechanical, like yeah. for example, you uh, you break your derail or you, yeah. you break your chain or something, yeah, you you race kind of switch you're not like for like for example racing for a top 20 or a top 10 yeah you're just racing to finish the race you're mm -hmm. like okay now i need to fix that i need to get on time to the start of the next stage and uh, go back to the to the mechanics uh, mechanic zone and then fix mm -hmm. the thing and then go back again and maybe do your comeback your race is kind of changing yeah that's why there is a bunch of people that are good like yeah i think that right now in in the ews there is like i don't know like the top 40 in between 40 to 20 yeah all these guys they can be uh top 10 mm -hmm. but they are working yeah and training and a bunch of stuff but they are not too far behind us no so uh, but it's just a matter of uh yeah just having the balls to uh to do it yeah but if you believe in it go but i think we are scared well yeah i guess it's pe yeah people are scared but it's it is financially it's hard it's if, if you don't have, if you don't have the support financially yeah. like sometimes you can't uh, you can't make the step yeah that's a little bit the, the problem outside He went a little bit slower than what I was expecting here, and he went a little bit wider. So it was okay, I was thinking that he would be a little bit more inside. But he kind of, you could see that he kind of jumped a little bit here, then grabbed the brakes a front, uh, first time, another time here, and then went a little bit sketchy into the corner. So he went here, which is, which is actually good. But I'm gonna go take the jump here, on the edge, land right on the root, and basically stay on the dirt, and then take the jump over there. I want to try his line. Yeah? Do you think it was cool? I yeah. don't know. Yeah, it looked good. Way better. Way better! But you came too hot here. Yeah. And I think you can take the inside over there. And yeah, not I saw taking you the jump in, inside. I ended up on the yeah because I got all sketchy. But you went like like yeah, and you lost your speed a little bit. Yeah. Um, if you use that mm -hmm. to make your corner kind of more round, yeah. and basically you end up corner here. Yeah? Okay. And then you use that to go straight. A hey, be light on your bike, fucking hell! And on the brake. Nice. Good. It's me though? Yeah. Are you scared of failure? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's something that I was kind of thinking when I, when I bent my rotor in Italy. Right. And shit can happen. Mm -hmm. And I think we live in a world where uh, I think we are scared of failing. 100%, yeah. We are scared of like, yeah, we are just scared of failing. And then... Uh, it's scary. But it's not really. Yeah. Like failing, I think it's what's gonna build yourself. So you can, you can fuck up a race. You can uh, fuck up a year even. Mm -hmm. But it's that that's gonna basically, if you have the right mindset, it's gonna build you to transform that and then get stronger and then don't do these mistakes anymore. And then you're gonna build on top of that. Yeah. But all your life you're gonna do mistakes. All your life you're gonna fail. Today was a good thing. Good, yeah. This is good preparation. Yeah. Click, click. Spending time with the world's best is a great way for Adam to improve and certainly a crucial part of becoming the best rider he's ever been. Coming up on the next episode of The Privateer. Yeah, we're gonna go and have a good time. <laughs>